So here I am on board Emerald Waterways, Emerald Dawn, cruising down the Danube River. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour around this modern and contemporary ship, and it's very typical of all of the ships in the fleet. Oh, and by the way, keep watching the video the whole way through, because at the end of the video, I have a special bonus related to river cruising that I think you'll find helpful if you're interested in finding out more about river cruising. And so this is the Horizon Lounge and Bar. It's the real sort of social hub of the ship. It's where you have things like the captain's welcome party, farewell party. It's where people meet for drinks before, uh, dinner after dinner. It's where the port talks take place every day, where if there's evening entertainment, it also happens here. There's also a 24 hour coffee tea machine and uh, it's a really bright, cheerful place to be. Particularly important because on river cruise boats you don't have lots of different venues. This really is the heart of the social world on board the Emerald Dawn. And then at the end of the horizon is an outdoor area. You can actually sit in the front or the bow of the ship and watch the scenery go by. One of the areas that I really like on the ship is a public access area which is just up on deck three which is just before the Horizon Lounge and Bar. And it's this area behind me which has some very uh, eclectic and unusual artwork. It just adds uh, a nice touch to the ship. And also it's a very bright area because on both sides are floor to ceiling glass walls. So it's a very nice, bright, welcoming space on the ship. And so of course an important part of the ship is the reception area which is manned 24 hours a day. Uh, down here obviously you have the reception desk. Also the uh, cruise director has uh, his or her desk down here and it leads on to the dining room, the Reflections dining room, which of course is another key public space on the ship. And one of the great features in the reception area are these big screens behind me, which are floor to ceiling screens, which have things like the daily program and CNN news, and uh, basically lots of information around what's happening on the ship, a really nice touch. And so this is the Reflections restaurant, a very important part of the ship. It's where breakfast, lunch, and dinner is served. So breakfast is a buffet breakfast, lunch is a buffet lunch, and the evening meal is a served meal, which consists normally of a starter, a soup, a main course, and a dessert or cheese course. It's a very beautiful room, it's very light, it's very bright, lots of whites. And again, on either side of the ship, you have floor to ceiling glass, so you have great views, particularly if you're cruising uh, during the day or in the light summer evenings. And so now I'm up here on the sun deck, which is the whole of the top deck of the ship. So it's a really big space and it's a great space. Not only are there lots of places to sit, relax, there's sun lounges, but there's also a couple of uh, other features such as a walking or running track around the outside. There's a little place where you can play noughts and crosses. There's a little mini golf place. Uh, it's a great space to just be on a great summer's day. And definitely one of the most innovative parts of the Emerald Dawn is the swimming pool. It's a plunge pool at the rear of the ship. It has glass on three sides, so as you move down the river, you can see beautiful scenery while you splash about or just relax on the seats around it. And so it's really good fun in this pool. There's actually a strong current, which is at the other side of the pool. So you can actually do exercise because as you try and swim against it, it pushes you back. So that's really nifty as well. In the evenings, it gets converted uh, for social events such as a cinema. So the pool gets covered over and it becomes a cinema. And also when you're in the pool area, there is, you can help yourself to tea and coffee. Uh, there's actually a full bar menu as well. So you can order drinks here. I actually wanted to give you a little tip. Um, I mentioned that there is 24 hour tea and coffee making facilities. One of the fantastic things by the tea and coffee making facilities are these jars, which have the most amazing, amazing biscuits in strongly strongly recommend you give these a whirl and so what about the cabins on board the emerald dawn i'm going to show you the cabin that i was staying in which is a great cabin and it's called a panorama balcony suite and it is quite an innovative cabin and something that i know emerald are very proud of as it's unique to their ships like all river cruise ships, the cabins are not massive because obviously the ships are constrained by size, but it's a good size, it's very comfortable. And one of the big innovations is the balcony within the room. So what happens is the floor to ceiling uh, windows, you can push a button and the top half lowers down so you get loads of fresh air into the room. And so effectively part of your cabin becomes a balcony but without having a balcony. The bathroom itself is great. There is a shower and most river cruise boats will only have a shower. 
there's a basin, obviously a toilet, etc. And the great thing I like about the bathroom is it's not one of those sort of prefabricated bathrooms. It's got actual tiles, has proper ceramic uh, basin. There's pretty good storage across the room as well. Uh, you have a minibar, you have a safe, all that kind of stuff as well. And uh, the beds are big, the beds are very comfortable. The beds are quite long for me. I'm six foot two, so that's a real plus. Sometimes in river cruise boats, the, the beds are a little bit shorter. And so though river ships tend to not have a lot of facilities because they're constrained by their size, on board the Emerald Dawn, there's a couple of features that are unusual or worth noting. So first of all, behind me, you have a small hairdressers and spa, which can offer things like massages and things like that. And though even though space is very tight on river cruise ships, as part of Emerald's Emerald Active program, which is to try and encourage people to be more active when they're on a river cruise, they also have a very small gym, which is located on deck two, which has uh, you know some cardio equipment and some weight equipment. And it also has the only place I found on the ship, scales, so you can track how, how much weight you're putting on or unlikely not putting on during your cruise. And another feature that they have on board the ship is a elevator for people who can't get up and down the stairs. So that goes from uh, deck level three, which is where the restaurant is, down to the first level where the, the lowest level of cabins are. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that tour around the Emerald Dawn. If you did, it'd be great if you left a thumbs up and also be super if you subscribed to the channel. If you'd like a bonus uh, for watching the whole video, I also have a book about river cruising that you can download. It's an e-book and it contains lots of tips, advice, and answers lots of questions about river cruising.